The prayer will be offered by our chaplain, Father Conroy. Let us pray. Merciful God, thank you for giving us another day. Send your spirit of peace and comity among the members of the People's House. Madam Speaker, I'd like to yield one minute to the distinguished Speaker of the House, uh, who's been an incredible leader during this pandemic, uh, the, uh, the gentlelady from California, Nancy Pelosi. The Honorable Speaker of the House is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the General for yielding, and I thank him uh, for his uh, leadership as Chair of the Rules Committee. This, um, our nation faces a deadly virus, a battered economy with tens of thousands of sick and, Ill, and some died, millions out of work. This is really a very, very, very sad day. We come to the floor with nearly 50,000 deaths, a huge number of people impacted, and the uncertainty of it all. We have to be very prayerful, and we have to be as bipartisan as we can possibly be, as united, working together. The bill we will vote on later today, which I will speak about later today, is the fourth bipartisan bill uh, that we, have, we will be passing in the Congress of the United States. Starting March 4th, we had our first bill, testing, testing, testing. Uh, shortly thereafter, the 14th, mask, 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 in terms of the uh, personal protective equipment uh, that people needed. And again, our Big Cares Act, which was bipartisan, as is this bill today. And that's why I hope as we continue to talk about uh, how Congress conducts itself, we can do so in a bipartisan way.